Okay, we're going to start with the LTV 1200 ventilator. This is a portable transport ventilator. I'm going to pull this back a little bit. If you have them on a stand like this, the item down here is an external battery. You can get four to five hours out of this. You have a percentage LED light that tells you how much of a percent charge this battery has. I'm going to start by going over the external. This is on a stand. It is designed for hospital use. If you are transporting or if you are using this at home for a transport or a home ventilator, odds are you would not have the monitor. The monitor comes right off and this would be laying on a table. And typically the home care does not have the stand such as this. This also, if you need to, will slide off the stand and it is a little bit of a pain to get back on. There. Those of you in some construction, it has a dovetail construct has a dovetail attachment. So you have your power cord. This is your power cord coming in. This is a communication device with the LTM. This is a laptop monitor. LTV stands for laptop ventilator. Because if you look at the profile, it is about the size of an old laptop. Not today's laptops, but about 10 years ago. This filter filters the gas that is going to the patient, the breath. Between patient's usages, you need to wash this out with soapy water, rinse it out, let it completely dry. You can see without this, the patient would breathe in all the dust and debris. Here is a computer filter. This is for the computer componentry up here. If this gets clogged up, you will start getting error codes because the computer componentry cannot cool off. This little plastic thing is very thin plastic. Uh, I would say in the lab, do not take it out because it will break very easily. I'm showing you how it is. You just use a key or something to pop it out. Small screwdriver and it pops back in. 50 PSI O2 inlet. You can hook it up to 50 PSI to use the blender. If this is an on home care use, you hook it up and put a, or you open it, you put a nipple on here, a green Christmas tree, something, and then this will run off blended in or bled in oxygen. You can bleed in one, two, three, whatever liters per minute that you need. This is a data down, download port here. If you're doing home care, sometimes you have to download data. If you're working and you feel this plate right here, it's hot. It's not going to get burning hot, but it's going to get nice and toasty. That is normal. This is a ceramic heat dissipating plate. Do you need to know how to say that? Yes, and spell it on the test. Now, really, just understand that this normally gets hot, and that's how there's a turbine that is an air compressor. So the turbine gets hot when it works. This will heat up, and that's how it cools off that turbine. Your controls are right here. We will go over those in another ventilate in a different video segment. This right here, this comes with the circuit and you have to put it in when you're putting the circuit on, which we're about to do. The speaker is this little hole. Why is that important? I will show you. You put tape over it and You can't hear it. I'm going to turn it off. So, you need to know where the speaker is in case it gets muted and you can't hear it. Somebody may have put some tape or gauze over it. That has happened in a facility I've worked. Uh, we had somebody put gauze and tape it over because the ventilator was too loud. These are the attachments for your circuit, and your circuit output is here. So let's go real quick into the circuit setup. This is the LTV circuit. All of them look about the same. They have this, and they have your pressure transducer hoses. You have your temperature probe if you're using heated humidified. This is a heated wire circuit, so you can use this for heated humidified or use it with an HME. What you want to do is there is no filter on this. 
So manufacturer recommendation is that you put a filter on here. This tube, this amber colored, you put it in and twist. You don't have to jam it in. A slight twist will seat it. You put your filter on. Now the patient has completely filtered breaths. Blue, as we said before, is inhalation. That goes there. Now you see your three connector hoses. Right here. One is a push-on. That's that one. And if you look, the ends are different. So you cannot cross them up unless you take them off and put them together. Don't do that. Now the way to put these on, hopefully you can see this, is to take this, I'll do the um, white, the yellow one, it goes into yellow, it is color coded. What you want to do is to do a counterclockwise rotation, and when you put it on, it will unscrew itself into that knob, into that connection, just like that. Again, with the white one, counterclockwise, and then it'll unscrew itself into there. How can I tell if you set this up correctly? This yellow line will not be twisted, or if it is twisted, it is barely twisted. If you do what 90% of the people out there do, which is put this on and then twist it on, over time, the torque in this tube is going to untwist it and you'll have a leak and your patient will be auto-cycling. So it's just a counterclockwise twist and put it on. Your ventilator is now up and running. One thing I want to point out is this circuit is actually for the LTV 1000. The 1000 does not have internal peep. You have to set the peep externally. If you're using the 1000, it is a push and twist. It's an external peep valve just like you use on your Ambu bags. So we're not going to have this, we're not going to be using this because the LTV 1200 has internal peep. As far as setting up a circuit, that is all the setup there is. The next video, we will be going over the internal controls and how to operate the ventilator.